Okay, we will start over there. Yeah. Hello. Uh, when you were here, your, uh, you preferred to play Marcus Rashford out wide. Uh, was that an example of why you thought you were better there than the centre forward? Yeah, but you are right, I'm not here anymore, so you have to ask these questions to, uh, to Wally. But I think he probably thinks the same. So, but that's not important now for me. What did you think of your team performance today? Sorry? What did you think of your team today? Of my team? Yeah. I think uh, for 30 minutes they were not just better than us, they were much better than us. They were much better in, in the intensity, in the aggression, they were winning first balls, second balls, 50-50 duels. But we were lucky. And then in the last 15 minutes of the first half, we were us and United was in trouble and we scored the goal and uh, I thought in the second half with some adjustments that we did at half time, I thought that we were going to win it. But the second goal is, is not the easy one to, to process because probably everybody says it was a penalty. I prefer to say it was a through-in, because the penalty is later, is a through-in, in the first minute of the second half. And that for me is, is really hard. And of course, you go with the 1-1, you want to start from there to go f for the three points, and then you arrive in the second half, and then they play the game that they wanted to play. They drop the block, they defend, they got falls. A couple of dangerous counter-attacks, closing, 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 and then of course we had we had the ball in the last in the last third. The goal could could happen, uh, but didn't happen. So I think they deserve the victory. Okay, Charlie down here. It was a pretty attacking setup. You were the one as you just took us through. Attacking setup. Yeah, your team. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way we we normally do, and we didn't lose because of an attacking setup. We lost because uh, because of the way we come to the to the game. By the, I think by the emotional way, um, they had more emotion than us. You you see, for example, McTominay's performance, the globality of his of his performance. It was dominant. It was dominant. Um, but then, as I was saying, half time we finished the first half with a good feeling, the feeling of a, of a positive result, the feeling of we were playing better than them, we had much more control in the last 10-15 minutes, and then in the second half where we thought we are going for it. We make that mistake, and after that, the game is a different game. And then after that, one injury here, one injury there. They they did well. The referee allowed them to do it, but they did they did well that that control of the time and the emotion of the game. Okay, question from the front. Here. Yeah. It looked like you had a couple of nice moments with Ole before and after the game. Of course, you don't like to lose, but how was it to meet him? And what words were changed? Yeah, no problem. What's the problem? You know, I have nothing against him. I, I think he has nothing against me. That's just that. So, why should we have any any kind of problem? Okay. Uh, Gareth Bale said there's no better link than Mourinho and Tottenham to try to win again. Uh, what do you think? How is your reaction? It's nice. I thank him. If if he, I didn't know, but if Gareth uh, told that, I, I'm really pleased. Do you like him in Tottenham? Oh, come on. Yes. We don't need the answer. Okay, go to Simon and James. Simon. Uh, Deli Ali, everybody's remarked on uh, the way that he's been playing since you arrived. Could you just talk, talk us through his, his goal from your perspective? He's playing well. You know, what can I say? He played well before me. And it's not like I'm teaching Deli how to, to play football. He was fantastic when he arrived from MK Dons, he was fantastic for club, for national team. He had a difficult period. Don't ask me why, because the majority of it I don't know, and what I know is not to, 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 to share with you. And then I just try to play him in a position where uh, the principles of play 
suit him and also to give him some space for his creativity and for his intelligence. He's playing well, he's working well, he's scoring goals. I cannot ask anything more from him, a part of keep going. Okay, I'm going to finish with Ali, sorry, James, Ali, and then here. So, we'll start with James. Manchester United's great promotion, was that because their old manager was here or because they were trying to win for their new manager? I think it's just the way it is, and you look to to United results this season against uh, the best teams, and they had good results. Um, I think at home, when they play like they did uh, at Chelsea, uh, Liverpool, uh, Leicester, also a, a great team this season, they always had this kind of uh, of attitude. I think it's easier for them. I think for the way they play is easier for them. Um, they are not afraid to be with a defensive approach. They are not afraid to be at home and to take that time, to win that time, to be in control of the emotions of the game. Then lots of young people with lots of, of energy and with a good uh, with a good mentality. And when they are uh, uh, winning matches. They are comfortable in, in, in this situation of low block with, with a giant there dominating or almost dominating in the air and being fast in counter-attack with, with Marcus, with, uh, with James, with Jesse, with Martial when he plays. So I think the way they play is, is easier for them when they play against um, the teams that are better teams, uh, teams that want more of the ball, teams that want to have the initiative of, of the game. So I think they did well. Okay, Ali and then finish down here. Ali. Jose, um, that lack of intensity in your players, that was something that was crit- a criticism of them before you came as well. How do you, in- how do you inject that into them? Criticism of what? Of the players before you came was a lack of intensity under the previous manager in his, in his final games. How, how do you kind of fix that? Essentially? Working, which I'm not doing a lot of, of, of that work. You cannot work intensity when you are permanently playing matches every two, three days. You can work other things, you can work principles of play, you can work uh, tactical positioning, but intensity, aggression is something that you, you cannot work. How can I work uh, these, these items of the game when I have to play Saturday again? I, I just can't do it. So it has to be just with, with time and try to influence the profile of the profile of um, of the players and the concentration levels too because for example the through in is is totally a lack of concentration because the team only reacted after Rashford had the ball and after Rashford start facing the first defender was when we start reacting before that we were not we were not there so I think it's also concentration levels but the players are fantastic very good guys very good players very good professionals they want and they, they will okay last question down here uh, Del Alli after the game described the team's approach as a bit arrogant and uh, overconfident is that something you've seen coming into the game and it's a bit early to be that after just I, I, I didn't I didn't uh, to be honest I tried to fight exactly that state of that state of mind um, I tried I tried to tell them exactly the way United approached it these matches that they had at home against Liverpool, against Chelsea, always uh, strong starts with people running, with people pressing the ball, with pre- people trying to lift a little bit the the morale of, of, the, of the supporters. Uh, normally they come from uh, bad results against smaller teams, so when they face the big teams people think mm, this is going to be more difficult for them. It's not more difficult for them because then the responsibility is a change and I think they feel comfortable in this in this style of uh, in this style of play. So in the second half we knew what we were going to do with the result 1-1, then you come here and after one minute you can see the goal. So we have to blame ourselves and I think United they must be obviously happy with um, with the points and overall for me they deserve. Okay guys, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.